Michigan is shaping up to be a big battleground state in this race for the GOP nomination. Now, Tory Dunn joins us now from Washington. Tory, this is Mitt Romney's home state, but he still seems to have a lot of work to do there. Yeah, Mark and Krista, Michigan by no means is going to be a cakewalk for Mitt Romney, but he's coming off of some good news today. He received an endorsement from the governor. He was born and raised a Michigander. He understands our state. He's one of us. But Romney is facing some tough questions about his opinion of the 2009 auto industry bailout. Of course, this is a key issue for voters in Michigan. He wrote an op-ed. The title of that op-ed was Let Detroit Go Bankrupt. He also said that a bailout for the auto industry would be a suicidal course. Still, Romney is standing by his opinion. The president finally came around to my own view that uh, Detroit needed to go through managed bankruptcy. The auto companies needed to go through managed bankruptcy uh, to shed uh, their excess costs. Um, and uh, it took him six months to get there, but he got to the same place that, that I uh, suggested. Mark and Krista, the auto industry has rebounded somewhat, but many people say Mitt Romney has to be careful about how he responds to criticism over those words he wrote years ago. In addition to winning over Michigan voters, Mitt Romney also faces the challenge of holding off the surging Rick Santorum. Uh, it's surprising who has the hold on Michigan right now. Yeah, I mean, Chris said there's a new poll every day, but this one's basically the same story of Santorum leading Romney. It's so close, so it's essentially a head to head. Here's where it gets interesting. In Michigan, the blue collar workers is an important group to appeal to. Santorum has the edge over Romney. Both of these candidates know just how close this race is, so they're spending more time and more resources in the state. You have Mitt Romney with two full days of campaigning there this week. Rick Santorum, on the other hand, had two events happening there today. And then the ad wars. Both the campaigns and the super PACs supporting the candidates are pouring money into the state with, with those ad buys. And then you also have Newt Gingrich. Don't count him out yet because when it comes to Newt Gingrich, he says he's going to benefit from this scuffle that's going on between Santorum and Romney, saying that Romney's going to start attacking Santorum and inevitably he'll get those votes, especially, he says, in Michigan, which awards its delegates proportionally. Man, those attack ads have been tough. All right, Tory Dunn live in Washington. Thanks.